tell us about the Pika Challenge, Kapadei. Kapadei, Kapadei, thanks for having us on the show. Now, I've been hearing about this challenge, so why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Well, here at Mescla, we offer two particular types of challenges. We have the Big Boy Challenge and we have the Pika Challenge. Um, of course, our Pika Challenge is a uh, Chamorro Cotton Pika with a variety of peppers. We, we, we use uh, anywhere from the Donisali, which is a boonie pepper, all the way up to habaneros and ghost peppers, which are really, really hot. And uh, when, when customers normally ask us, well, what, what peppers you use or how much peppers you use, we just say, we use hot peppers. <laughs> and, you know, it's up to you if you're up for the challenge. Um, it's a hot dish. It's going to burn going in, and it might burn going out. <laughs> I mean, uh, but uh, we also have a second challenge, which is uh, our big boy challenge, and that's a 3.5 pound ribeye steak. I mean, it's like this thick. It's and a lot of meat. if you can eat it all, it's yours for free. And then likewise with the Pika challenge, uh, with the Pika challenge, is $24. If you lose, you pay $24. If you win, it's free. The big boy challenge, you eat all the steak, it's free. If not, you pay $100. So, I mean, it, it's, uh, it's, it's definitely a fun challenge, and uh, we, we've had some takers and it, I was just going to actually winners. ask you that. So about how many have taken the Pika challenge? Well, currently on our list, we have about eight people that actually took the challenge, and uh, five of them have won, and three of them have lost. So that's actually a good ratio. We've had people that actually won, more people that won than lost, so. And for the Big Boy Challenge? The Big Boy Challenge, we've only had two competitors and one has won and one has lost. Surprisingly, the guy who won is smaller than I am. <laughs> and he ate that thing with like 10 minutes to spare. And speaking of time, these are actually time yes. challenges, right? Yes, our, our Pika Challenge, you have a 10 minute limit. You have to finish everything on your plate, starch and everything, within 10 minutes. Uh, the Big Boy Challenge, you have to fi finish everything. Fat, grizzle, starch, vegetable, everything on the plate, you have to finish in 20 minutes. It's okay, okay. So, I mean, it's, it's a tough challenge, but we've had people, as I mentioned, we've had people that won, and um, ultimately our, uh, our idea was to create something fun on the menu, something different. I've been to uh, many restaurants abroad and I've seen various types of uh, creative uh, menu presentations, some with some challenges, some with uh, winning a prize or you know things like that. But uh, I wanted to create something different. Nobody else on Guam does anything like this. And you know, uh, locals, we're, we're all into challenges. and. <laughs> Bragging you know, rights. They're all about bragging the, rights. Especially the, the Pika <laughs> challenge is a big thing because it's, everyone says, oh, I like Doni, I like Pika, you know. And then when they so finally eat it. Come and try what Mescla Pika is all about because this is fiery hot. Now, you know, I'm a huge fan of, of um, man versus food and especially mm -hmm. when he goes and he tries out the challenges. Is this, is this was, it, was it something that you were kind of gearing at? Because when he goes to these places, it brings in a lot of the locals. Oh, yeah, Is that something course. that you were aiming at? Um, well, I mean, I, I definitely knew it would be something fun and interesting uh, bring, to bring in more people. And, you know, it's definitely exciting. We, we use our, our peppers that are available on Guam. But, you know, like I was mentioning earlier, people are up for challenges. And when it comes to spice here on Guam, there's a lot of people, oh, I could eat hot. I, a lot of military guys come from off the fresh off the boat or fresh off the plane and they're like oh i know how to eat hot you guys don't know how hot it is and then they, they stumble on our type of hot and it's boom dinancy hot yeah <laughs> and so. if you have watched the guamazing race from last season and you saw the keloguin challenge <laughs> i see the reaction to the keloguin how hotter is the karampika well, to be honest with you, when I did the Kelleguin for the Guamazing race last season, I used my own personal boonie peppers for that, and whew, it was hot, believe me. I mean, those guys were dying, even, yeah, I don't want to mention it on TV, but <laughs> anyway, if you saw it, you know, you know that it was hot. Uh, in comparison to our Pika Challenge, I would say our Pika Challenge is hotter. 
Wow. Definitely hotter. Okay. Well, so. Do you have any other final comments for our viewers and especially those that are, are contemplating taking either of the challenges? Well, if you're up for a challenge, come down to Mescla. We're the only one like its kind and we want to try either one of the challenges or both. We're here. We're ready for you. <laughs> Those are fighting words. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, Chef Peter. And make thank sure you, you stop on by to Mescla and ask yourself, are you ready for the challenge? Stay